Believe it or not, I didn't, I didn't start passing out the or sharing the gospel until I met you guys. Amen. There you go. See, where's proof? Cool, huh? So I was too. You know the reason? What the reason was? Hopefully, I'm still glad I was too. A lot of people are. Do you know? Do you know why I didn't pass out gospel cards? He thought they were. I thought they were collector books. cards. Mm. Collector cards. He thought you were supposed to collect them, and keep them, and keep them. And that's it. See, like this one right here, I have. This is number. I passed that one. I This one's one, one thousand five. I thought that you know, if I collect them all, I got some of Christian bones going. So a guy came to me and said, you know, you're supposed to give them out. Really? I said, no, you're not. You're supposed to, no, you're supposed to give the beef. I said, only if they got what I don't have. Well, at least God showed you different. Yeah. Through somebody else showed me. Okay, so with our first study in Did First John, let's mm -hmm. pray. Lord God, just thank you for this time, Lord. Now let's pray. And Lord, Lord, is our coming. Lord, we're going to pray for Kenny to eat you. Clean. Yes, Lord. We keep your well, ass now, Lord God, we're here. We're two or three gathered together amongst you, Lord. Here you are. Thank you, Lord. Lord, let me speak no ill, no flesh of your word. For Jesus' sake, for Jesus' glory, for Jesus' honor. And may, Lord, you call us home right now together and finish this study. For Jesus' sake, I need more than that. Just don't make shit on the train. All right, well, this is where it's going. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, I know people from Jamaica, but I don't have families from Jamaica. And what we're doing is we're, we're going to the Gospel of John, and we're, we see Jesus as the Word. We see Jesus as God. And now we're the Creator, God, Jesus. And what I do is when I study verse by verse, I take the context of the verse and go into the study there. So I will use the subject and continue to that subject until it's exhausted. But with the Gospel of John, we are looking at the creation. And in Genesis chapter 2, we left off. I don't like text. I'd rather phone conversation. I'm old school. I'm like, you know how it is. You sit there talking, right? It said, verse 6, like And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his house of the breath of that's, life. That's how and man became yeah, a living that's, that's soul. A man, I guess that's a man. Yeah. Thing, so that's a creation of man yeah. by God in yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But in chapter 1, verse 26 of Genesis 1, Genesis 1, verse 26. <laughs> and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish, over the seas, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over all creepy things that creep it on the earth. Now God said, let us. Who's the us? And that's what we're getting to now. That's what we're going to look at now. We're looking at God the Creator. We're looking at Jesus Christ the Creator. Looking at the Word of God that prevails above all. And God said, let us. Amen. And we saw a couple weeks ago, because what we're looking at now, we're looking at the Trinity. And God said, let us make man in our image. So there are people out there who say, well, we look like God. And that's absolutely wrong because God's a spirit. Jesus is a spirit now. He has not been born. So if God's a spirit and you can't see a spirit, what do you say that you believe yourself upon when it comes to God? In fact, in Genesis chapter 2, in Genesis chapter 2, in verse 7, is the image of God. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. That's your body. Your body is dust. When you die, you turn back to dust. You'll decay. You'll rot. You'll corrupt. That's the only thing that did not happen to Jesus in the grave. He did not corrupt. He did not turn into dust. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. That's, that's the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit of God. The breath. Life. And man became a living soul. That's your soul. That's your eternalness of who you are. And that is the image of God that you are. The image is you are a body, soul, and spirit. The body, Jesus Christ, came in the flesh. 100% man, 100% God. Man's a soul. That's the eternalness of man. God's eternal. God will never pay and God will never end. 
That's us, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> and the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that gives I us life. Like, That's how man is made in the image of God. Well, now we go to Genesis chapter 5. What image are we in? We have an image. I just need to know. And no ball is just what you say. Mother, not the world hates you. Genesis chapter 5, <laughs> verse 1. And we're looking at this also, we're looking at the Trinity because there's a misconception that we are made in the image of God. So what do you do when we all look different? And I had a man one time tell me, well, you know, I was talking to many in the sky. We all look different. So what? Now you see how Satan can say, okay, the word of God is ill. Damn. Because how can we look like God if we all look different? Does he have black hair? Does he have brown hair? Is he bald? Is he blonde? What is he? Is he male? Is he female? So, verse 1, this is the book of generations of Adam. That's a great, 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 great grandfather. In the days that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Alright. That's the body, soul, and spirit. Male, female created he them and blessed them. And called their name Adam. In the day they were created. We are created by God. And God said your name is Adam. Even to Eve. God never called her Eve. But that's not our study now. Right. And Adam lived 130 years. And begat a son in his own likeness. After his image. There it is. We, are, we look like that. We got eyes, nose, mouth, face, and we sing. The body, soul, and spirit is the image of God. We are eternal just like God's eternal. We're going to spend, some are going to spend it in heaven. Some are going to spend it in the lake of fire. But you have an eternal being. like. But we have a, a creation from our parents. But God doesn't have a creation. He was always man, ever complete. So when we go back to 1 John 5, 7. 1 John 5, 7. And we keep looking at this verse. And remember, John is the writer of 1 John. 5, 7. And we saw a couple weeks ago, we saw this verse perverted. And I'll show you the error which I have learned by that Bible. Even I learned new things. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Recording. That know it so. A record is something you keep on file. And the Father, capital F, that's God. That's the eternal soul. The Word, that's Jesus Christ, became flesh. That's the body of Christ. Our body. And the Holy Ghost. Well, there is a Spirit that breathes in us. And when you receive Christ, you get you get the Holy Spirit in your heart, which is very close to your, your lungs. And your lungs and your, and your heart work together with your blood, giving your blood oxygen. Which God says, blood is for life. I've given blood for life. So as the Trinity works together, if you want to study biology sometimes, and heart and lungs, how they work together. And then you look at the flesh carrying, the, you know, you look at your body, you see blood veins. But we saw also that this word was changed to water one day in the Bible. And NASA thinks that well, we can go to Mars and find water. The effects of evolution that we came from palm skull. Algae grew into legs and here we are. We have two beliefs that we can believe in today. We can believe in evolution, that we come from something. And we can believe in creation where we came from someone. Where somewhere in time the Big Bang happened somehow, some way. Or creation, God has always been there, has always been there. And He had created everything that's here. Or evolution. 
It just happened by chance. And when you change 1 John 5, 7 into water, you have now had a creation. You have added evolution into the doctrine of God, which is never meant to be. So when we look at the image and trinity of God, we see the trinity as they are. In Genesis 1, 27, again, I'm going to read this, read these words again so we get it. In 1, 27, repetition is the best way to remember and we have to realize, we have to choose now of two beliefs, evolution or creation. And I'm telling you right now, the belief, the belief the Bible is we are created, and the created way that God made all things is the only way for you to have access to God. So Genesis 1.27, so God created man in his own image. Here we are. In the image of God, created he him. Male and female created he them. Now the false doctrine is, okay, what do you do with that verse? Is God a man or is he a female? It says he created them. And when you go messing with the Bible, you go about with your own interpretation without studying the word of God, you have a mess. And today you've got people who don't even know what sex they are. And there are modern Bibles on the market that have taken the him of God, the he of God, and in relation to God as a male, they made it an it. Because God is neutered. You're taking God to the humane society and you neuter him. So, we got white, we got black, we got yellow, we got male and female. What do we look like? Genesis 5.3 again. Genesis 5.3. Now I hope to put these scriptures in a way that we, you know, it's we're there, we're there. Sometimes you can't. I try to put them in order. Make it easy. But Genesis 5.3. And Adam lived 130 years. That's an old name. And begat a son. In his own likeness. Now God created Adam. He did not beget Adam. Adam and Eve did not have belly buttons. But Cain and Abel did. Because they were created. God took a pile of theirs, breathed into it, and became man. Adam and Eve had, had uh, marriage bed relations. They produced a son. In his own likeness. After his image. And called his name Seth. So we don't look like God. We look like Adam, our great, 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 great grandfather. But our body is like the Jesus Christ. He had eyes, he had nose, he slept, he ate, he walked, he saw, he sat. Our spirit that is in us is the type of the Holy Spirit. You can't see it, but when you receive Christ, it indwells in you like it's in your lungs. And then we have the eternal... Listen, we... The Lord may carry the rapture, may not happen in our time. We're going to die. And this flesh is going to corrupt. But then again, the Bible speaks about the new, the new heaven. We're going to get a new body. Amen. In hell you get a new body. We're not even going to talk about that right now. But the body represents Jesus Christ. The spirit represents the Holy Spirit. And our eternal spirit, though we die and go into a coffin, we do have an afterlife. We do live forever. And that's the soul that represents God. It's a human. It's not God. Chapter 5, verse 3. Jesus was made like unto Adam. Look at Psalms 51, 5. Psalms 51. Psalm 51. You know, we must be doing something, but if it's Satan's idea. Psalms 51, 5. 
<clears throat> the sower went out and sold the, sold the seed, and the birds were right behind and grabbed another seed. This is my Bible. This is not my Bible. I bought you. The max one. Psalm 61, verse 5. Now here's man. And when you read these passages, we are reading about man. It's certainly not God or Jesus Christ. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. There's the image of Adam. Right. Mom, grandma, great great grandma, great great grandma, great great grandma, great great grandparents, great great great, all the way to Adam. Gave us an image called sin. And the wages of sin is death. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. That's the Holy Spirit inside you. I want the truth. And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. It's parts that we don't know. Purge me with hyssop. That's the Old Testament. And I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Well, that's what Isaiah says in Isaiah 1.18. God speaking himself. Come now, let us reason together. Though you seem to be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. That's God's invitation to those in the Old Testament to Isaiah. Come, you're a sinner. Let's be clean. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. And he's been broken. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. That's man. That's man and what he needs. That's what God and from Adam that disobeyed God and did not listen to God. That's what we are today. We don't listen to God. We don't obey God. I'm just, just making a statement. It's untrue. That's how so the right scriptures now. say that the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Man is dust, that's the body. He breathed, that's the spirit. And the living soul is the soul. <laughs> I want that the body God. represents I want that Jesus man. Christ. Just the I'm spirit done. represents the Holy Spirit. And the eternal soul represents the eternal God. The Trinity is the image of man by God, the body, the soul, and the spirit. So imagine a lost man appearing before God, his creator, one day in the great life from judgment. Well, listen, I fashioned you that body, that rotted, it's gone. He's going to get a new body in the, in the lake of fire. That came like that. That ain't nobody ever knew. I gave you the breath of life. And that time when I took your breath, no matter how much CPR, medicines, the hospital, the paramedics did for you, when I take that breath, you're dead. That's it. You're done. And that eternal soul. And there are many people who uh, I'm talking about one this way, you know. Well, when I die, that's it, it's gone forever. And it's, no, it's not. Okay. You have an eternal soul that will man does live forever. Though this this flesh wax worms and decay in the ground, you will live forever just like that. And the Bible says, Yeah, you be like gods. And that's one of the things that, that Satan told Eve. Don't be like God? You will get through. So, light, vegetation, go back to go to John chapter 1, in John chapter 1, verse 1, Amen. John 1, verse 1, In the beginning, we see that in Genesis, was the Word, capital W. And the capital W Word was with God. And the Word, capital W, was God. And that's all that was with the, the creation, which there is no more to be created. Things to be made new, but never created again. And when you get 
Jehovah Witness will see. He, he was God. That's it. He's done. He's Michael. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. The same was in the beginning with God. That's right. So everything in the creation of man, there is the Word. There is Jesus. And when God says, let us, there's Jesus. There's the Holy Spirit. There's God. All things were made by Him. Man, that shit was on Amen. So proud of and without him was <laughs> not so anything proud. made so that was made. Bite like a damn Tesla. You sit so when you home. look at an automobile, take hands oh. off, keep feet up. The old the 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 resource. Like fucking Alibaba or something. They might take more here. It's our boss all God's resource. Doing what he's doing with the Tesla motor. Metal came out of earth. God made the earth, the Bible said. Houses are made of wood. God said, let there be trees, let there be oaks, let there be animals. Everything that there is came from God, and yet man don't thank God. That's right. In this country, we give one time, one day, uh, 365 days, we supposedly give thanks to God. On one day. And now we turn to Black Friday, where you put yourself in debt to things you can't afford. It's amazing how the world would use the word black and say, put yourself in debt and go shopping, and change it from the worship of God to the credit card. And stores. We don't give God the thanks at all. And it's present ever that God does not give the thanks, but Satan does, and he's the loser. But God created everything. We ought to thank God for everything that there is. All the medication. Listen, we've gone out this week, we've bought all kinds of medication for our aches and pains. And we give God the thanks that we're able to buy it, that there's a resource that's there for us to get everything. The who, what, where, why, and when of which is all God. And if we don't give God the glory, the glory, we don't give God the credit for the who, what, where, when, why, and which. We have sin we need to repent and get right. Because it's all about God. And verse 3, all things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made. That's the Lord. In Him was life. Here we go. Next verse. And the life was the light of men. Now what is the light that we read in Genesis? Vegetation, animals, and humans were made by the creator of Genesis I mean, of John 1, 2, and 3, which we had vastly discovered to be God's Father, God's Son, the Word, and God the Holy Spirit. So when you are threatened by that bumblebee, remember that bumblebee was made by God. And when you read the Bible, you understand that God told an ass one day to speak. And that ass spoke. And God told a bumblebee one day, I want you guys to go into that armor of that enemy of Israel. I want you to sting like the dickens. And the hornets did. And Jesus approached a donkey that's never been ridden. He says, I'm riding you today. Yeah, that's okay, Lord. And God spoke to the, to the bird and said, I want you to go feed my prophet bread. He's over there to feed him. And the word of God makes an animal to obey God more than him. And if I was God, I would die for it. Because if there's not anything ever loyal that I ever know about, and there may be animals I don't know about, man, a dog is loyal, he's patient, he's loving, and he's caring. A dog will sacrifice his life without forgetting his name and his name. But rebellious man, who God had made, who God had said, for this creation of giving me the glory of your creator, man has failed. That's life. What is life? Why are we here? Who gave it to us? Revelation chapter 4 again. Some of these verses we're going to go over and over, and you're going to memorize them just by sure we've gone over. Four eleven. And we'll look at verse 7, 4, 7. We'll get into the beast there in the, in the heaven. God created it. 4, 7, the first beast was like a lion. That's your wild kingdom. Your beast of the ground. The second beast was like a calf. Domesticated animal. That man can paint. The first, the third beast had a face of a man. That's us. 
So when you say the likeness of God and the likeness of man, there's a, the cherubim, and one of them has the face of, that looks like Adam. Mm. Not God. Scripture is Scripture. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. That bird, that flies. Even birds that don't fly. So there's your classification of the animal kingdom and one's missing the reptiles. Which we're not going to talk about then. But here's creation, Genesis 1, made out of these four beasts. Genesis 1, here they are. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about them. Notice how it says, and. And they were full of eyes within. That must be interesting. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, holy, old men of earth. <laughs> no. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty which was, and is, and is to come. They are proclaiming who God is. God has always been, God is, and God always will be. Holy, holy, holy is. Why holy three times? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Lord, God Almighty, Lord. That would be the Holy Spirit. God would be Jesus Christ, Almighty would be the Father. The Trinity, working in one, being worshipped by all. Now remember, and this thing came up the other day. We don't worship three gods. And again, like I said, we're going to get into religions as they come up, and then we're going to go with the Father. If you deal with the with the Jehovah Witness, they will challenge you and say you worship three gods: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's how they will judge us. We are uh, polyistic. Yeah. 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 So them, it's one plus one plus one is three. That's right. Or probably that's what they call it. But it's never in the Bible. They are one in one with one. So here they worship the creation. No, they won't. And when the beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, there's only one that sits on the throne. Now, I've met many of Christians who think they're going to be on the throne. I've met many of Christians who think that we're going to go to heaven and worship them. And yet, in my own life, when I sin against God, I quickly take God off that throne and put myself on it. When I'm a sinner. When I don't give good thanks to God like I should, I'm sitting on that throne. And I don't belong there. The one that sits on the throne is the creator of these beings. These beings. God Almighty. And the beast gave thanks to him to sat on the throne who lived forever and ever. That's God. We're going to live forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, I have no idea who they are. No idea. So we wanted to think about it. Fall down before him that sat on the throne. And worship him that lived forever and ever. And cast their crowns before the throne, saying. Now these are the only ones ever that he said to cast their crowns. I can't find anywhere the scripture says work. Now we may do it, but I don't, but this is the only group of people that do it. So just because we have a good preaching outline and sermon does not make it so. Now verse 11, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. We've talked about this verse over. And thou hast created all things, John chapter 1, verse 3. For thy pleasure, they are and were created. Now here's the thing. God in John 1, verse 4, said life. Go back to John 1, verse 4. You see, we don't even realize what sin we're going to give account when we say we have. I read my Bible, Matthew 12, I'm not sure like it. For every idle word, we shall give an account with us. That's trouble. No. But in verse 4, in him was life. And the life was, as ten, the life of man. And in Revelation 1, it says that we were created to give honor, glory, and praise to Almighty our Creator. Huh? Four when we don't, we say. And we 
as Christians, never mind the lost people, we have failed that. And when you have music that does not worship God in any way, you're going to give an account for that music. And may God play music for you that you will have to have study and have to have your brain and go about doing something else and interrupt you in whatever you're doing in your life. May God bless you as such as being here in full. But when we do not give God the glory, and I'm speaking to the same group of Christians, we sin. God created us, saved the lost. He gets the honor. He gets the glory. He gets. All right, so what did churches celebrate Sunday? Mothers. Yeah, no. Where is there an account of 365 God Day? Where is there an account of Jesus Christ Day? And if you run Mother Day, and you'll find out it's a pagan order. And if there's a church that celebrates the Mother. There. But where's God? We've been in churches where you know Mother's Day and Father's Day, and it's outside of God. There's mm -hmm. no God, there's no Jesus. So, life. Why am I here? It's God for me. Amen. If you were created by the Big Bang, then there's no sense, there's no purpose, and once you die, yeah, that's it. So see how great to believe in evolution? I have no account of to, to God. But a rock or whatever it was. But if God's correct and creation is correct, we've got to give an account to him for saving the law. And that's where life came from. Life, according to the John, according to Genesis, according to Revelation, came from God. Now, where else can we prove Jesus? John 14, 6. John 14, 6. John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way. Okay. So there's got to be another way if it says, I am the way. And you can sit down on a piece of paper today and spend all afternoon and write it down another way. Well, there has to be another way. Jesus said, I'm the way. There are other ways. But Jesus said, I'm the way. He's the only way. The truth. So when Jesus says, I am the truth, there's got to be a lie out there. And there are plenty of them. Dime a dozen, but should be handled. Which, you know, if you buy two of them, we'll get to you free. And look at here, and the light. Well, I thought John 1, 4 said life came from God. And John 13, verse chapters later, he said, Jesus is the light. Also, we also back up, here's Jesus again, the creator, and the author of life. Well, that's very interesting. And no man comes out to the Father, but by me. So let's go to Romans 6.23. Romans 6.23. We're looking at the life now. We make people live a wasted life. And they can live it to abundance with God. All right, John 6, by the way, John 6, 23 is a great verse to use to witnessing and preaching to lost people. But John 6, 23 is worth the Christian. So if he writes the way to sin is death, if you're a Christian, oh, I can sin all I want to sin, but I'm saved, you're still going to die. And if I'm righteous and do everything I'm supposed to in sin, I'm still going to die. The wages of sin is death. Ooh. Okay, death. Who wants to die? Oh, yeah, you're right. But the Christian has to put the body present in glory. But, here we go, ready? But the gift of God, God's offering you something, a gift. Gifts are free. So here's God the Father. 
is eternal life. But that's life beyond the creation. That is life in the eternal life that our eternal soul has. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So not only did Jesus Christ create everything that is here, John 1, 3. Not only did Jesus Christ give us life. But if we were to believe and put our faith in Him, He will give us eternal life. John 3, 36. And I said, everyone lives forever. Save the law. When you step off in death, you only just begun. And there's no time after you step off from death. Time stops. I was reading a post today about when my grandma had died several years ago. No family's mad at me. I said, listen, if she didn't believe Jesus Christ, she's in hell. Which I don't think she did. She's in hell today if she didn't believe on Jesus. And there's no more time. When we read, read John 3 36, he that believeth on the Son, capital S, I bet you those capitalizations are pretty good, Mark. So that's Jesus. The Son above all sons. Has everlasting life. There it is again. If I were to believe on Jesus, not only do I have life, breathing, blood, oxygen, food, water, Everything I need. Oh, yeah. I also yeah, have eternal life. Everlasting life. Right. Which the Bible says later on, we're going to do the new body, no more pain. No more. That's wonderful. And I preach that Saturday morning. What God will give you if you put your belief in Jesus Christ and I got the other. Alright? All men have eternal life once they're born of a woman. When they're, when they're born of a woman, they're going to populate heaven or hell. Now, if you're saved, you've got eternal life. Look what the Bible says about you when you die and you go to hell. He that believeth not the Son. That's not us. We believe in us. People who would be at another table not worshiping God, not having anything to do with God, shall not see life. There's something wrong with that phrase. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now I said you have eternal life. But John the Baptist says shall not see life. No, no. Though you have eternal life and you have disregarded the, the salvation of God through Jesus Christ, God says that's not very likely. That's up to you. You end up in hell in the lake of fire, God says that's not But you've got eternal life. Imagine God adding a footnote, but like, there's no other life like the life in Jesus. But if you choose that, that's the wrath. But you're still going to live forever. And never, ever, ever able to obtain the mercy and grace of God the Father ever again. Yeah, I said, when you said that, what? That's hard. When God has that footnote, which I appreciate that, he's going to me. That God puts that foot in there, you're going to live forever, but that's no life living. If you're going to do that. So, let's look at the life of men. That's John 1 4. So let's go back to Genesis 1, 3. And let's see the creation light. And let's see God do something that man cannot explain. Genesis 1, 3. And it puts a monkey wrench into theology of man. Now we know that God created the, the heavens and earth in seven days. And there are some people who say that death is 7,000 years. The first day was a thousand years, the second day was another thousand years, the third day was another thousand years, and so on. As God said, verse 3, let there be light. John 1 4, let there be light. And there was light. So there was a point in time that this planet called Earth was in darkness, was in ice, 
It was without the presence of God. That's the ice age. There is an ice age in the Bible, this earth. There it is. Without God, you have no light. Without God, you have no light. That's where the man ends up in hell. Hell is dark. I'm going to party with my friends. You can't see them. I'm going to have beer. You can't find it. Without God, there's no light. And we'll get into that in John chapter 3. God called the light day. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Verse 4. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. Chapter 2. In the darkness he called night. Well, now, this is where they throw out. Oh, no so and even right the morning, like, morning were the first day. Now, this is where they right men are. Well, like the first day and the first like night, this. there's light by God. John 1 like, yeah, like, Jesus like, is that like light. Like a postman in a pit bull. It's like I'm just chewing your ass. It's like I'm just waiting There is day and evening. There's light in this darkness. Now, let's go to verse 14. Verse 14, God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day. He said it was the sun. Yeah. Oh, and a lesser yeah. light to rule the night. What do you think that is? I don't talk shit all day, but I can back my And he made yeah. the stars also. Yeah, man. So, chapter 1, verse 3. Like, chapter 14, that chapter 1, 14 through 19. <laughs> that's the sun. That's yeah, the moon. That's serious. the star. But she can't stop the left. In John chapter 1, verse 4, he was light, and he was the light. There he is. There is Jesus Christ in Genesis 1 4. When Jesus Christ shed his light on this earth. And then next afterwards came the sun, the moon, and the stars. The sun was unto the fourth day. But in Genesis 1 3, there was light. Do you ever hear a man say that joke? You know, the thunder, let there be light. Where did they get that from? So, verse 3. So God said, let there be light. John 1, 4. And there was light. And God saw the light. It was good. What one good thing ever has there ever been good in the eyesight of God? Of God? And God divided the light from the darkness. Where did the darkness come from? Who would cause darkness? That God said, all right, you stay away from that, and you stay away from my son. My son. That would be the fall of Satan. That's all that you saw. So already in Genesis 1, we see that there is darkness. In God, there is no darkness. There is light. So we see Satan's already fallen from heaven. We see Satan now is already here. And God has separated the light from the darkness. God has separated the sun from Lucifer, from Satan. And Satan is the loser. And the only way to lighten up is to have the light of God. And that's Jesus Christ. That's not the sun. And yet there are people who will go at certain times of the year and go worship Baal rising up in the east, sunrise service, and that has nothing to do with God because Baal's over here in verse 16 and Jesus Christ is over here in 3. You know what verse that is? 3. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. How interesting. Now these chapter and verse markings are not part of your Bible. They were added much later. But oh... They do have a significance of the Word of God and where they're placed. So that light is Jesus Christ. That ball of thing that comes up in the morning in worship, that's, that's the sun. You got to need your copper tone for that. In Jesus Christ, you need to believe. The light is called by God. It's not ever created. Look, and God said, let there be light. It's not created. And there was light. It's not a creator. Jesus Christ was never created. God said, hey, listen, there's that miserable rotten planet we made. Sun, light it up so I can see what it looks like. It was saw by God. It was witnessed by God. 
So in evolution, said, well, we, this is all. No, no, you, no one ever witnessed what you saw. Or I haven't seen, excuse me. No one ever witnessed the Big Bang yet, but God witnessed his creation, and he saw his creation, and he wrote of his creation. Moses, when Moses is on Mount Sinai, speaking with God with the oracles, the Ten Commandments, speaking with the writings of God in his finger, he also told Moses, write this down. God says, Moses, you didn't see it, but I'm going to tell you what happened. And he calls that light good. The Bible says about man, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. There is none righteous, no, not one. Yeah, but Jesus Christ is good. Jesus Christ is the righteous. One man come up to Jesus again, the Jehovah Witness said, Good master, Jesus, why called me good? You know why Jesus said that? Because that guy didn't believe in him. That guy didn't want to do what he wanted to do. And he knew he would walk away crying because I want to keep my riches. I lay down to Jehovah Witness one time and went, go over and study your Bible and do. He divided darkness. Wow. Jesus Christ is able to, to divide the darkness. And when John the Baptist speaks about John 3, 36, here is the life, here is the darkness. Here is the way, the everlasting life, here is the wrath of God. And the only way to get you out of the darkness of hell, the only way to get you into the light, is the light himself, and that's Jesus Christ. Oh, you read it? He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's all mine. That life is... There would have been nothing on this earth without the light. Because let's read on. Chapter 1, verse 11. Oh, verse 10. Genesis? Genesis 1, 10. And God called the dry land earth. You know they don't know how this planet was ever named? Do a Google search or look in your, in your encyclopedia. Look up how was the earth named... I mean, Mars was named for the Roman goddess, and Venus, this god is not. And when you put up the question, how was Earth named? Nobody has no idea. It says right there, That's God right. named. God called the dry land Earth. All right. And gathered together all the waters, called them seeds. And God saw it was good. God likes that. And God said, let the Earth bring forth grass, and herb yielding seed, and fruit tree yielding fruit, and after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and healed you herb and seed, after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his kind. And God saw it was good. Vegetation is good to God. Life, God gave it life. John 1, 3. And even in the morning were the third day. And let there be lights in the firmament. Now this is the fourth day. That vegetation would have wilted. It was a thousand days. The thousand days. That's right. If they say a thousand days, well, three thousand, three thousand years. He made the plant. He made the plants, and four thousand years later, he made the sun. They would have wilted. But yet, plants need life to live, and then That's after right. the light, <laughs> after the vegetation, comes the sun, moon, and stars. After. But there was a light in, Gen in Genesis 1-3 that's not the sun. And that light for vegetation came by Jesus Christ. And in Revelation, Jesus is going to be that way again. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Revelation that's that's right. 20. So we've got to help me on that one. Oh. 21 or 22. Right. Okay. No need of light. Revelation 20, that's right. a good one. Uh, oh, no, let's look at 22-1. Remember what we just read in Genesis Oh, wait a minute. The light, the <laughs> earth, the plants, yeah, and the plants, and the money. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do it right. Here I come, Elizabeth. Revelation 22. Oh, yeah. And he showed me a pure river of water. Wasn't there water Amen. between the light? God, I would hope so. You should be fucking Okay, so. Clear and crystal. Like proceeding out of the throne of God. And the land, there's God and Jesus Christ. The land. In the midst of a street, a street, not streets, of it. On either side of the river, there the tree of life. Oh, there's vegetation. There's vegetation. Boy, I didn't realize this message is Genesis 1, doesn't it? Wow, thank you. Sometimes it's good to have a great life and study the Word of God, too. Amen. In the midst of, see, help me. 
doesn't mean break her, it means help me. And amidst the tree of it, either side of the river, there was a tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, signs, seasons, look at that. We're for the healing of the nations, not church. That's a whole new another study of that and it broke up the fellowship of my Christian grandfather and me. That's not Christian. Nations. And there shall be no more curse. Genesis 3. But the throne of God and of the Lamb, capital L, shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face. You're going to see the face of Jesus Christ one day. Yep. And his name shall be in their foreheads. Lock that in 666. Jesus, the Lamb, whatever that name's going to be. The word, maybe the word that we're studying. Remember that horseman that came in the name that no other man named, but he had the name of himself called the Word of God? And there shall be no night there. There was night in Genesis 1. Right. That's beginning. You know what happens most time at night? That's when people do their thieves. That's when people do their sins. That's when people do their wickedness. That's the wildlife. Not the university. There's no night. You can't hide. And they need no candle. Neither the light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light. Genesis 1 3. And they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God, the Holy Prophet, sent his angels to show unto his servants. That's us. The things which must shortly be done. Shortly, not short enough. Not short enough. <laughs> I'm going to follow him, but not short enough. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed be that time of the of this prophet. Do it, do it. And I, John, saw these things. That's John, the writer of the study. Do you realize what's going to happen when the great white throne judgment is done and all those are cast in the lake of fire? We're going to get a new heaven. We're going to get a new earth. We're going to get a new Jerusalem. Genesis 1 is going to happen all over again. And it's going to end. I'll tell you where it ends. Genesis 2. And there is no end. Genesis 2. And when you read the story of Genesis 2, of God creating everything and mankind. We'll look at Genesis 1.31. When all sin is taken away from the presence of God and man. When it's finally cast in the lake of fire forever. Genesis 1.31. God saw everything that he made, that he had made. Behold, it and the evening and the morning were the sixth day, but there's no evening and morning in heaven. And everything that God has now seen, after all has been cast off in the lake of fire, all the wickedness, all Satan, all sin, we are made in a new body without sin, no more tears, no more sorrows, forever worshiping that land, capital F. God looks down, he says, very good. And then you run back to Revelation chapter 1. That is why man was created. And if you do not want to do what, man, what God created man for to do, the worship of Jesus Christ, go to hell, and go to the of fire, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Let the city of Jerusalem come down, let all those worship the land. And she got right there. Spirit, no, keep it in your kids. How glorious is going to be? I just wish that had started happening right now, but it is starting to happen right now. God is doing things right now in place that it will. We just do not know when. But one day, no more wickedness, no more evil. No more pain, no more sorrow, no more pill. You know, we will have doctors in heaven, but we won't need them. There'll be doctors in hell. They say, oh, maybe oh. doctors in hell and they can't help nothing. There'll be pharmacists in heaven. We don't need them. There'll be pharmacists in hell. Won't need their services. God is great. Yes, he is. Lord God, I thank you very much. Lord God.
God, we have to promise him to come just like the sun in the Lord, I am I am all worthy to burn in hell forever. And uh, Isaiah chapter 53, what your son's done for it. I am not I love that. Okay. Yeah. Six bucks. Never mind to get a body without Six pain. Dollars. Never mind to have without pain. You know seven. that pawn shot is right there in the Wednesday Sea Shopping Center? The Lord God, I thank yeah. you. Yeah. For Jesus' sake, we pray. Amen. Glory to God and I. Amen.